Hey kids, so our next topic is edible vaccines. So as the name suggests, it's vaccine, but it's edible. Khaa sakne wala vaccine. Wow, isn't it great? Okay, so what are the basic steps for it? So we get the desired gene, okay, from the human pathogen. For example, if you are making edible vaccine for against Vibrio cholerae, so we take out that gene which is responsible for cholerae, okay, the desired gene, and then we put that gene, we incorporate that gene in plant virus, okay. So this is a nucleic acid of the plant virus and then we integrate that particular gene into its genome. Okay, then we have some potato leaves on which these plant virus are feeding upon. Okay, and they will spread across these leaves. Okay, with the help of biotechnology, I can grow an entire plant okay with these infected potato leaves and that plant will have that transgenic gene okay and thus we can get a potato which is transgenic okay and that potato if we have it in raw form then it will have the effect of a vaccine okay so what if what if we bake that potato and then we eat it okay so remember if you do that then it will not be an edible vaccine it's uh, it will not be that much effective okay so remember the same technique the similar technique is used for making genetically modified crops so an important topic for example golden rice Famous one is Bt cotton. Bt is Bacillus thuringiensis. Okay, prepare these topics well. Bt cotton and Bacillus thuringiensis. Okay, so what what are genetically modified crops basically? They are the crops which have foreign gene. Okay, with the desired characteristics integrated into their genome. Okay, so prepare all these topics well for your exams. Do your best. Bye.